The nuts on tour, rolling in the motor home, moving town to town, never feel alone. Hello and welcome to this video from Nuts on Tour. This one is a repair video because on our last trip out we pulled up the window blind and literally the string went snap and it all went blah, 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 to the bottom. So my challenge when I got home was A to find some more paracord 1.13 millimeters. Now there's an odd size if ever you saw one. Yeah, and then take the door off or take the inner door skin off, remove the door blind window mechanism and rethread it all with new paracord. So this is done after the fact so if i grab the camera so there you can see the door is now back on completed and we now have new slidey slidey uh, or old slidey slidey blind but with new paracord yeah so it's a case of taking off that surround which i show you how to do at the end taking off those two and removing the handle then taking off this yeah, taking off the whole surround. So uh, I will do that and then show you the inside of the doors. So on with the vid. So the problem was the blind, the blind here that should just run up and down has, if you can, I don't know if you can see that, has two little strings that run up either side and the problem was the string had broke at the top so uh, paracord it's 1.13 mil don't ask me where they get the sizes from so what i had to do is normally this fits Normally this blind sits here like that but obviously because it had uh, broken I had to take it off. So it was stuck on with like CT1 or silicon sealant so I had to prise that off and then prise the back sheet off and then it was just a case of re-threading it and I've tied it at the top you get two little two little stops here and they're just literally they're allen keys and they are one mil allen keys to tighten that up so there's one on that side and one on that side and i've left the excess above it's, it's out of sight it's behind the trim so you'll never see it but i thought i would show you the door as well while we're here I'll video putting the door back on in a minute when we've uh, built all this lot up but this is what's inside your box yeah so uh, you've got two solenoids that shut the doors and literally when you open it when you when you open it you pull the handle and that opens the and then when you shut it, the two solenoids shut it completely. So that's locked all the way around. And that's the same at the top and at the bottom. So when I pull, the, if I pan back a bit, when I pull the handle, you'll see the top solenoid work. Yeah. And then when you pull it, nope. And then when you pull it, and then when you pull it, it locks it too. Now uh, we have had a problem with this one before, because what happened last time was one of those wires at the bottom came off. 
so the solenoid didn't actually work so what I've done is I've crimped new ends onto those that was the ones that actually see the new ones I've crimped on they're the new ones I've crimped on but uh, they weren't working and they are now these couple of bits fit on there like that and they're just trim they're just trim but they very technically done very technically done believe it or not they're actually put on with sellotape yeah I've got the old bits that I took off and just to hold them in place make sure that's nice and square like so and they were oh, purely and simply taped on very technical <laughs> thank you death lifts but uh, no it doesn't need to be very technical all it needs to do is hold it in position which uh, the cell tape will do so square that one up like so and just put that on there just to hold on We'll get rid of that bit as well and then the same at the other end turn that to there like that and then you <laughs> here's the other bit of sellotape that I've not removed yet that's the sellotape that was holding the other end so then this just gets put on like that and we'll we'll try and make it look square that one don't look too far out of square actually so uh, find the end of my tape again and we shall Hold that. I know, we'll do it the other way around. We'll stick it on there first and then line that up and then stick it in place. There you go, that worked. And then the same with the same with the piece on the other side. Of course, cellar tape is a brand name, so other other self adhesive tapes are available. <laughs> there you go, and that is now ready. I'll clean the other side off. I've cleaned this off. I'll clean that side off, which uh, all I was doing is very gently. You can see how easy it comes off very gently just swiping that off like so so uh, I shall finish taking the rest of this off and get back to you in a minute Could you get me some kitchen roll? You can. end of that back on and 
that's the end of the CT, you just wipe that little bit. So the next challenge is to try and get this in position on the door. So we shall put that in like that, put that in like that, slide that in there, that in there, and like that. And then just to hold it in position for now, with the aid of my beautiful assistant, we shall have, just while the CT sets, we'll have a bit there. A bit there. A bit on there. bit on there and a bit on there there we go right and now we leave the CT1 to set for a bit Lovely. Here we have the uh, the door trim. The hardest part is getting that bit over there. This is the bit I struggled with last time. It's uh, got to go in first, and that's the thinnest bit. So uh, <coughs> it's getting to hold that. Ooh. It is still attached. It's getting to hold that. whilst juggling that so <coughs> ah there we go right and now uh, put that bit in first because that's the hardest bit that bit in first like that and then all of this bend just gently and slide it down into place. And for this you really do need two hands. So, uh, or more, uh, four hands rather, should I say. Yeah. And that is a case. That's all but in. I've just got to get this bottom corner in now for which I will use my little tool. Any little flat bladed, not too little, but any little flat bladed screwdriver. And then what I need to do is just bend this out a bit. So it just bends the plastic a little, done it like that. And That cracking is actually going into position. It's not breaking the plastic. This is having to force it just that little bit behind the plastic here to get it to go in like a bit further up like that. And then when you get so far in, give it a little push down and that line will disappear. There we go. Lush. Now it's a case, I don't know if you can film this, now it's a case of literally pushing that bit in behind all the way up the door. I'll do that side in a second yeah, darling. That, surely that helps if it's in while you're trying to push that bit. This is the hard part because this is where the lock is. <coughs> so this obviously is tight up against the lock so it's a lot harder to get in <coughs> need to be 
down a little bit more to bend that. There it is. That went in. And that now goes in all the way up to the next one. So now even I need to use this. All that darling. And then what we do is... No. Don't know if you can see, this is held in by Velcro. So I now need to pull the Velcro strip off gently, just pull it away from the Velcro, gently on both sides. And then once it's off, bend the door down slightly on that side and put that in. No, I want to get this side in first because this has got the locks on. Or remember. then into the top <coughs> that's that side in you can now see that that's that side in literally all the way down when I release that I'll just shove it this way a little there it is that's now that side all, all the way down so I can stick that in and then along the top put the top corner in and then ah, onto the ha, 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 easy side have to release this from there again oh tops popped out along there like that and then <clears throat> Up in like that. This side is all in apart from the last four inch at the top. So pull that out. Nope. This is where I need another strong hand at the top. Nearly, nearly in, come on, got you. it and that's the door back in position or the door skin the internal door skin back in position again all that remains now is to put these in for the handle handle is just held on with four screws two at the top two at the bottom so line that up like so and like so get them started and then out with my little magic screwdriver and two at the bottom make sure they go in the hole And then tighten up the last, tighten them up the rest of the way, the two at the top. Now 
and then put the put the posh trims on now if you can imagine when you look at it all you can see is that so you're not sure how they come off what they've got is they have three little spikes yeah so the little spikes fit in the hole so to put them on literally line the spikes up all right and then when you want to get them off what you've got to do is literally fingernails behind give it a little wriggle side to side and it comes off yeah so when your door's fitted all you've got is that give that a wriggle so it comes off and then to put it back on line them up and give it a little squeeze and that's the Nope. There you go. That's the finished thing. And then the very last bit is the trim that goes round it. And that literally is just on five little clips. Yeah, one at the bottom. So see the one in the bottom in the hole. And this hole there, hole there. So literally the one in the bottom goes in the hole and it is a... That's it. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you, lady nut. Bless you. So that's it. So now if I shut the door, we should hear the... Uh, I'll just make sure I've got the keys first. As I shut the door, you should hear the... That's it, to lock it in place. And that's it. And then to open the door, it all stays. And we will make sure it locks. Job complete. The moment of truth. Does it work? There you go. It does, and it's much quieter than it used to be. And it holds <laughs> and stays in position, and jobs are good. Jobs are good. Successful. That's it. We now have a silent. Before, when you did this, it used to go. <laughs> yes. So uh, yeah, happy with that. Lovely. And there you have it not the easiest of jobs uh for me definitely i would say you need four hands you need at least one holding that one holding that and another one trying to push it back and possibly hold the other bit more if you're filming it we had both cameras on uh, on tripods trying to film it at the same time which wasn't easy but we thought this would be a good video to show you because while you might not have a death lifts I'm sure that other motorhomes have a similar arrangement on how their doors are put on. Some may be a little easier, some may be a little harder. But if you have any questions about what I've just done, comments below and uh, see you in the next one. Bye for now. Open sky so blue